Hello and thank you for joining me and, and watching another one of my CD collection videos. Um, it took me a while to get to this one because I don't know a lot about this group. In fact, um, I'd never really listened to them before. I had, I was familiar with the Cocteau Twins because of much music, but I'd always filed them in the same category as Enya. And f understandably because they sound very similar. But um, I just never really delved into it, even though um, Cocteau Twins often come up on my recommended list because I like other Scottish groups. So Cocteau Twins were a Scottish group who formed in 1979. And a friend of mine gave, was getting rid of a bunch of his CDs and he gave me these uh, three Cocteau Twins CDs here that I'm going to get to. So I finally sat down and I listened to them uh, over the last couple days, I also listened to a podcast, which was called um, Bandsplain, where they go in depth and talk about the Cocteau Twins. It's a really great podcast. I recommend checking it out. Um, so I didn't read anything ahead of time, though, before I listened. Um, I just thought I'd go in blind and judge it strictly on the music, not having any background on it. And the first one I went for was the album cover that appealed to me the most on, on this pile. And it was Bluebell Knoll. Um, that one is from 1988. And even for 1988, it sounds ahead of its time. It sounds um, kind of rocking. Actually, it, it has... Um, there are some elements of it that remind me of the Cure or New Order. Again, a lot of that is because of the technology that was available. They were using similar uh, effects pedals and keyboards and stuff. Uh, but Elizabeth Fraser, who is the, the singer, her voice is like an instrument. She's sort of breaking up language a little bit and altering words so that they express what she wants to express in a way that's not easy for us to understand. So her voice becomes an instrument, a very abstract instrument and very beautiful instrument. It sort of swirls around the room with the uh, shimmering guitars. And uh, I really enjoyed this one. This was, And then I went to this one, uh, Garland's. And I thought, wow, this is radically different. Um, Garland's sounded more like Gary Newman or Susie and the Banshees. There's a lot of Susie and the Banshees comparisons there, I think, just because Susie has such a interesting sound. <laughs> but uh, I think everything gets lumped with Susie and the Banshees, somewhat unfairly. But um, yeah, tech, I, I could see the similarities with, um, with Gary Newman and even Bauhaus. And then I later discovered that that album came out in 1983. So that makes sense. Some of the drum sounds, the drum machines, um, and the guitar effects sounded similar. So that makes sense. Uh, and then the last one was a, a four song EP that I listened to this morning. This one came out in 1995. It's called Twin Lights. And it has four songs on it, uh, which I forgot to write the titles down. And they are deliberately vague with their artwork. They don't have any credits or anything like that in this EP. So I'll have to look that up. But that one was more keyboard and, and piano driven and much more stripped down than their other stuff. Um, I, I've, from listening to the podcast, I found out more about, um, about the Cocteau Twins. I found out that... Um, Will Hedgie was the original bass player. They replaced him with a multi-instrumentalist whose name I've forgotten. Uh, Robin Guthrie was the guitarist and a very distinct guitarist. He, he started exploring sounds that would later influence uh, shoegaze, um, which had a, a more, I'd say, loud and aggressive sound, but uh, it was using the dynamics of the effects pedals. They were... Um, sort of a pioneering group that way. And Elizabeth Fraser, I was like, I know her voice from somewhere. And listening to the podcast, they, that's how I found out that 
she did vocals for Teardrop by the Massive Attack. Uh, I guess just Massive Attack. It's not the Massive Attack. But that uh, that song I remember because of the creepy uh, fetus singing. And the video is kind of creepy, eerie, you know. And then the theme song was later used for the TV show House. Anyway, that is my journey with the Cocteau Twins. Um, I have to take a look downstairs and see what the next uh, CD is, but I believe it's Codeine, which will be fun to talk about. Um, I'll see you then.